to life Blind eyes find sight Dry bones be revived In your name Darkness has to flee You have victory Death, where is your sting? Bring dead hearts back to life Blind eyes find sight Dry bones be revived In your name Praise the Lord. Are we ready to go, guys? Yet? Where is everybody? Right here. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'll tell you, we're going to have a great time. I can, uh, Cassandra said she might want to audition for Matt's part. Uh, good evening, Freedom Word. Nobody can do it like Matt can. But I want to welcome all of you. And I want to tell you how glad we are to have you. And we're so thankful that Patrick and Dee are with us. And we have had such a fun time getting ready for tonight. Uh, so you get to have fun with us now. So uh, let's just give the Lord a, a thank you and tell uh, Patrick and Dee how glad we're to ha we are to have him here. And we'll just give it to him. Amen. Like kind of in that, in the uh, in the no spitting zone. If I'm when I'm singing, when I, you don't you're all like in the no splash zone. They have a side here. seats. But uh, <laughs> yeah, the side seats. But hallelujah, we believe Praise God's big enough to accommodate this entire room. But man, we are so excited that y'all are here tonight, and we're excited to be here, uh, just to spend time in the presence of the Lord. There's nothing like the presence of the Lord, and I believe that if you came to church on Sunday night. Y'all are really committed. Y'all, like, you are expecting something. Anybody expecting? Yes. Hallelujah. I think of the song, David Ingalls song. You won't leave here like you came in Jesus' name. Yeah. <laughs> Bound, oppressed, tormented, sick or lame. Hallelujah. For the Holy Ghost of Acts is still the same. you came you, in Jesus name <laughs> yes that, just say that tonight I won't leave here like I came in Jesus name bound oppressed tormented <laughs> sick or lame praise the Lord for the Holy Ghost of Acts is still the same and I like I came in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Do you believe that tonight? Amen. Well, can we take a little moment just to rejoice in his presence Hallelujah. tonight? Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We praise you. Thank we you, praise Lord. the one who is greater than all. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We rejoice in the presence of the Lord. always says joy is a serious business of heaven. Amen. Anybody full of joy tonight? Yes.
victory is our victory. Amen. Amen. Aren't you glad about it? Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, how good it is to know you and be known of you. How good it is to love you and be loved. Absolutely nothing better than you. Yes. No. I search the world, but it couldn't feel me. Imagine the praise the treasures that made were never enough. Thank God you.
there's nothing, <laughs> nothing is better you, than you. Thank you. How many of you know that for yourself that there's nothing better than you? Oh, there's nothing. is now or ever will be greater than him. Amen. He is the greatest of all. And he loves us. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's good to know that nothing will ever come up against will be greater than him. Hallelujah. Nothing you've ever been through, nothing you're going through now, Nothing that you'll ever face will be greater than him. Isn't that good to know? Hallelujah. And water you turn into wine. Thank you, Jesus. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no
is for us and who could ever stop us and if our god is with us then what could stand against and if our god is for us then who could ever stop us and if our god is with us then what could stand He's not just great and mighty up in heaven somewhere. He's great and mighty on the inside of you. If you've been born again, the very life of God, the very nature of God, Thank you, Jesus. the ability of God, yes, everything that he is, is in you. Amen. Do you know that tonight? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He is in heaven, but he's in the earth, and he's in us. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because of him, we're never alone. We're never without. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory to God. Oh, just think about that a moment. Just consider his goodness. Consider his faithfulness. Ever present God. All powerful God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I thank you, my Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. No matter what you may be going through tonight, you may be faced with a financial situation, family situation, situation in your body. Just consider the greatness of God. Thank you, Jesus. 
everything that he is, the one, the creator of the universe, the creator of us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Creator of our bodies. He is here in our midst. Glory to God. And he's greater. I want you to see him tonight greater. I know that you know he is, but we just take a moment to consider his greatness. You know, the Bible talks about magnifying the Lord. Great are you, Lord. When we magnify him, I mean, we can't really make him bigger than he is because he's God. I mean, he's as big as he's ever going to get. I mean, he's God. Amen. But yet the Bible tells us to magnify him. Well, I believe what that means is we just consider him. Consider him in comparison to everything that we're going through. He is greater. He's big. Magnify him. See him as greater than your situation. See him as greater than your symptom. Hallelujah. See him as greater than that need that you might have. Hallelujah. That financial need you may have. He's a great provider. Hallelujah. Everything he has belongs to us. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 magnify you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. Oh, Father, we exalt you above everything, every need, every symptom, every situation, every circumstance, every challenge. Hallelujah. We magnify you. Hallelujah. We consider you greater because you are
service we talked about. I won't leave here like I came in Jesus' name. Amen. And we are changed in the presence of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So to that effect, I just encourage you, if you have any cares, any weights, any concerns, any hurts, any disappointments, anything that may just be hanging on you, the presence of God is a wonderful place to just let that all go. Hallelujah. Because in His presence is everything good. Thank you, Jesus. Everything good. Everything good. Everything good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His word tells us, come unto me, you that are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Hallelujah. In His presence there is rest, and there's freedom from anything that binds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I just encourage you, if somebody's wronged you and it's just kind of been hanging on you, just let it go tonight. Jesus died for that. You know, we talk about He died for our sins, He died for our, our sicknesses, and He did, and thank God He did. But He died for all of that. I mean, He, he died for everything ever come against us or control us, try to control us or to uh, anything that doesn't represent life in us, he died for that. I mean, he is the giver of life. We know it's the thief that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And we've been singing about his greatness, how great he is, and he is great. He's greater than all. But I do, I just encourage you tonight while we're in his presence, just to let anything go that may be hanging on you there's freedom in his presence and he wants that for us so much more than we want it for ourselves even hallelujah but you don't understand i'm just busy you know it's been so long so long i get it i totally get it i've held on to things for years that it stole my joy and, and kept me from moving forward and man it's just so much freedom when you let stuff go if you were genuinely wrong, you were in the right, but you were wronged. It doesn't matter. You still need to let it go. Amen? Because there's freedom in that. There's healing in that. There's preservation in that. There's everything good. And no matter how big a deal it was in your life, it could be something absolutely horrible. But we've been singing God's greater and He is. If he carried the weight of the world upon his shoulders, and I know my brother that he can carry you. Yes. 
as if he carried the weight of the world upon his shoulders. But I know my sister that he will carry you. So leave it there. trust him and no doubt he will surely bring you out so take your burden to the Lord and leave it there every disappointment every worry, every care just leave it there take your burden to the Lord just leave it there you can trust don't have to doubt cause I know surely bring you out. Take your burden to the Lord and leave it there. Thank you, Father. And you know, it may be something, it may not even be something that somebody else did to you. It may be something you haven't forgiven yourself for. That maybe you've done. There's still forgiveness for that. Jesus is like right there. He wants so much to, to forgive you and give you freedom for that. He's that good, and he loves you that much. He doesn't want you carrying something that, that you've been carrying. Just, he's, ah, oh, he's so good. He loves us so much. Hallelujah. And he's not mad at us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He paid such a huge price so you can let that go and move on with what God's called you to do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You don't have to waste another day, another minute, another hour. Hallelujah on that. You can let it go. Hallelujah. Oh, because if, because he carried the weight of the world upon his shoulder, I know with all sister that he will carry you he said come unto me all who are weary and I
Hallelujah. Oh, thank you for freedom in this place tonight. Thank you for freedom in this place tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you, Father, that nothing separates us. There's no hindrance, Lord. Oh, we give ourselves wholly and completely to you. And in your presence, Lord, we empty ourselves before you. Everything, 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 everything. Till there's nothing left but an empty space that you can fill with yourself all that you are.
of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become C-H-A-B-O-D, and it means copiousness. It means heavy with everything good. So God is good. He is all good. He is only good. He's absolute good. Absolute good. And all of that nature has come into us when we were born again, that eternal life. And so we walk after that life. We follow after that life. We put our flesh under, you know, from bitterness and jealousy and being mad and unlovely and blah, blah, blah. So this glory of the Father, there, there's not one English word that describes it. So here are all of the English words that try to describe it. The glory of God is wealth, wisdom, numbers, power, superiority, commerce, authority, nobility, splendor, valor, magnificence, 
and extraordinary privileges and advantages. So we're born of that. That is the kingdom in which we live in, the kingdom of God. That nature of God is in us. Hallelujah. And I, I wanted to touch on, and you know, when you leave it to the altar, when you come and there should be in, in our life, there's an exchange when we're with yeah. the Father. Yeah. So we come to leave it, but I don't have to leave empty. Right. That's right. I'm going to deliver what I need to deliver here at the altar that I need to get rid of. And in place of that, I'm going to get filled up with illumination yeah. to replace that which I needed to let go of. Whatever it is that has been consuming something other than the light that you should be walking in, we leave it at the altar. And we come and we say, Father, what is it? What exactly is it that needs to fill this space? Do I just need to, you know, work more on the love walk, confess love? Do I need to go forgive somebody? Do I need to sow a seed towards it? What, do I need to study, you know, the book of John? There's a key to getting rid of that and overcoming it and walking free from it. Okay, so we come, lay it at the altar, you know, wherever your altar is. And instead, we, afterwards, we make wide room to receive yeah. from the Father the strength to replace that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise yeah. God. Is That's that good. Right? Yes. Thank you. It's a lot of words. They're all good. <laughs> the glory. And uh, Miss Trina's sister, Patsy Caminetti to work with her at Rama back in the 80s and she shared one thing with me that I've never forgotten and I think of it every time I'm in a worship service you know especially if you were denominational growing up a worship service is like you're just giving you're giving you're singing singing to the Lord singing to the Lord singing to the Lord and you know I mean God knows who he is it's like you know he doesn't need us to tell him who he is to reassure him I mean he knows who he is but there's something about when we declare who he is in our life, he becomes more real. Kind of like what I was talking about magnifying him earlier. We make him bigger to us. We make him bigger in our situation than we're making everything else. We give him first place. We give him lordship in our life. And that just opens up. It opens up the glory. It opens up everything good. But Patsy, she taught me, taught us that worship is an exchange, like he said. And it's a lot like breathing. I thought this was like the best illustration. You know, we breathe in and out, in and out. You know, you breathe out. <sighs> Eventually, you have to. <laughs> breathe in. Yes. And that's what happens in the presence of God. We do sing to him. We pour out our everything to him. But in exchange for everything we give him with our lives, man, he just pours it all back in yes. us. Hallelujah. So can we take some time tonight? I mean, we've been worshiping him and, and declaring his greatness to him and, and his lordship in our lives. But I know that he wants he wants to he wants us to receive part of the worshiping is receiving because he's here i mean he's here and he's here with everything that he is everything that he has amen hallelujah so he's here to give us his power more and more of his power more and more of his provision more and more of his wisdom his counsel i mean you may be you may be contemplating a change in your life sensing a change in your life and you have choices and, and it's not clear at the moment right now maybe what what your next step is. Well, that's something you get in the presence of God. You get direction. You get counsel. You get wisdom. You may be faced with a situation you don't know exactly what to do. He does. He has all the answers. He is the answer. Hallelujah. So can we just take a few moments right now just to receive from him? Father. I 
receive more and more of your peace, peace that passes understanding, sets my mind at ease. My mind is clear. Hallelujah. Oh, soundness of mind is mine. Hallelujah. I receive it now. Thank you, Father. My memory is perfect. Hallelujah. My mind is sound.
has no place in me. I receive your courage tonight. I receive boldness, boldness by the Spirit of God. I am bold. I declare I lack for nothing. I have all that I need and more. Oh, for you are my provider. You are my provider. I'm never without. I'm never alone. There's never a doubt that I am your own and you are mine. receive your strength tonight. Strength in my body. Strength in my body. Father, I thank you that in your presence, Lord, your spirit floods my body with your strength. Every organ, every system. Thank you, Lord. My bones are strong. My muscles are strong. My heart is strong. how much you love us. That's how much you love us. <laughs> You're making all things new. You're making all things new. You're not making all new things, but you're making receive that, Lord. I thank you. Oh, for restoration, restoration of everything broken, everything missing. Freely, Lord, you give. Freely, I receive, I receive. Freely,
receive direction for my life. I receive direction for my life. I know you have a plan. I know you have a purpose. I thank you, Lord, for the next step. You show me the next step, Lord Jesus. Oh, I hear your voice clearly. A stranger's voice I will not follow. Father, I thank you for sensitivity of heart. Sensitivity. I'm sensitive to your voice. Hallelujah. I receive direction. Direction for my life. myself to you completely, not my own way, Lord. I choose your way. I hear your voice, and I yield myself to you. Whatever you want, whatever you say, I just want what you want. I just want what you myself to you afresh and new best interest at all. I submit to you because you're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And then I'm loved by you. It's who I am. Myself in the body where you place me in the body. Thank you, Father. You reveal it to us, Lord. We're not left to walk through life blind. Hallelujah. But you show us the way. Maybe not everything all at once, but you show us the next step, each step. And we trust you, Lord. Because you are a good, good Father. To You 
so thankful for your greatness. I'm so thankful that there's nothing that you can't do. But Father, I'm equally thankful tonight that you're good. I'm thankful for your goodness and that there's nothing that you won't do for us. You withhold no good thing from us, Father. Thank you, Father, that my faith in that is strengthened I trust more and more in the goodness of God, your goodness. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In time in your presence, in time in your word, I get to know you. Time in the spirit. Thank you, Father, that that's reinforced in my life. I trust in your goodness. I trust in your goodness. I trust in your goodness. Hallelujah. That truly you're all good. You're only good. You're absolute good to us. All good. Only good. Absolute good to us.
give me pardon for all of my sin and the peace that it do and your own dear presence to cheer me and to guide me all my way your strength coming soon. You're coming soon. I'm so glad about it, Jesus. You're coming soon. You're coming soon. You're so good. You're so good to But until that day, Forever I'll say the God, you're so good. Because I know that you are God, you're so good. I trust in your goodness and your faithfulness, God, you're so good. So 
are so good. You're so so good to thank you, Lord. You're so. Father, I thank you so much for meeting us here, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for encouraging our hearts tonight, for reassuring us of your love, your goodness, your faithfulness through whatever comes. Hallelujah. Father, I pray that this will be an anchor to our soul and everything that comes our way in the future, Father. That we're anchored by your trust, by our trust in your goodness, our trust in your faithfulness, our trust in the covenant that we have with you, Father. Father, make us ever aware of your presence, not just in heaven, but in us. God with us, God for us, God in us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for Thank continued you. gentle reminders that you're with us. You never let us go. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, your goodness, your faithfulness, Lord. We trust you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And we love you with all that we are. Oh, all that I am, all that I have, I give to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. so thankful that you're here tonight and I know that many of you gave this morning already but we want to give everybody an opportunity to sow your seed or if you didn't sow correctly this morning you get a chance to correct that and do whatever the Lord tells you to do has the Lord ever changed your mind about giving you had a figure and he had a different figure and his figure is always the right one so I trust that you will obey the Lord with us tonight and we want to be a blessing to be a blessing. We want to be a blessing to Patrick and Dean. We're so thankful for you guys coming here. What a blessing you are and what a blessing you've been to us. And we look forward already to your return. Amen. Amen. So Father God, tonight, as we prepare to give, as we sow our seed and release it into the kingdom of heaven, we know, Lord, that it leaves our hand for this temporary season, but it doesn't leave our life for we will meet it again multiplied we'll see it again it'll come back to us good measure pressed down shaken together running over and we're so thankful Lord that we can be givers we're so thankful Lord that we can be involved in what you're doing we have found Father that the more we give the more we have and the more we have the more we can give and the more we give the more we have it's a cycle of blessing. Lord, so many dear people live in a cycle of cursing and lack and poverty. But Lord, your system is a system of blessing, a cycle of increase over and over again. So Father, we release what's in our hands into the kingdom of God. So we thank you for this privilege tonight to sow good seed and good ground. In the name of Jesus, amen. Now our ushers are going to wait upon you. This is our last song for the night, but it's one of my favorites of the whole uh, night. Let's sing.
singing about the blood. How many are glad about that? Let's sing about that. Plead, I plead the blood.
go. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> That's a great one to go with. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you for being with us tonight. I know that uh, we don't normally have Sunday night services. So it's a little different for us, but my goodness, it was such a blessing to be here. And of course, Tuesday morning at 11 is prayer school. Wednesday night is the midweek hour of power. I'm teaching about divine healing. We're going to have a wonderful time. And so I invite you to be here next Sunday. We're going to have a glorious time. Just invite somebody. Fill this place up with people ready to receive and be blessed in the Lord. And Patrick and Dean, thank you for coming. We thank yes. you so much. We Amen. love you all. Hallelujah. So much. Thank God. Amen. We look forward to the next time we see you here. And, of course, you're always welcome. Praise the Lord. So God bless you. Have a great week. And we'll see you soon.